Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video from my series of video that I do showing you guys apps that will actually make your iPhone more worth its money. I love this series of videos where I get to show you guys some really amazing apps. Now, of course, iPhones are great and they have great features, but the amount and the type of apps you have on your iPhone will, of course, help you do even more with your iPhone, add new features and add different abilities to your iPhone. So this is what this series of videos is about giving you guys access and of course apps that are actually really good and will add a lot more new features to your iphone and you will probably use on daily basis so before we get into the apps i just want to ask you guys to go ahead and smash the like button of this video that really helps out a lot so make sure you don't leave the video without giving a like the first app for the video is called Dictionary Cam. Now this one is very simple. Now when you open the app, this is what you will see. This is the very simple interface of this app, yet it is very useful. So let's say you're reading a book or anything and you don't know the meaning or the definition of a word. All you gotta do is just go ahead and launch this app and point the camera, this red cross right there at the word which you want to find and basically this app will do the rest for you so you can see right there once it recognizes a word it will show you here the dictionary so we have the oxford and we have also here the oxford in spanish so you can see everything the definition of that word now you can expand these or you can go ahead and tap on manage if you want to add other dictionaries to your iphone now what you can do is listen to that word or you can just go ahead and search the web for that word so if you want to basically like explore more regarding that word or learn more you can just go ahead and with one click head on to safari and google that word Next up is an app called Rebuilds. Now nowadays, most of the services are subscriptions based. So basically you have stuff like maybe Spotify or YouTube Premium or Apple One, Apple Music, whatever you have. And how many times you wanted to cancel one of those subscriptions, but you got charged at the end of the month because you forgot to cancel that subscription or forgot that you had to pay for it. Now this app will help you with that. So it shows you everything you need to know about your monthly expenses and your subscriptions. You go ahead and add a new subscription right here. So you can add the name, the description, the price of course, and then you can go ahead and choose here the frequency, like how often you have to pay for that. And you can set a reminder here. So you can set the same day, a day before or two days before, and you will have your subscription right here. You can also categorize them right here will have different categories and you will have basically payment methods as well now what the app does basically however you set the reminder it sends you a notification letting you know that you will have to pay in a day or two of, of course that subscription that you choose to add here now it also offers home screen widgets which are actually very useful as well and you have different ones you can see that medium one will show you three different subscriptions this one shows a single subscription and you will have even a bigger one that will show you up to six different subscriptions and you will have them here all the time and you can see right here i have this one for tv and it shows the next rebuild in two weeks and of course the price that i will have to pay so all the time I'm aware of what I have to pay and when I have to pay it. FPQR is the next app for this video. Now this is an app that of course lets you scan QR codes, but there are a ton of apps that do that, but this one has some really great features. It allows you to also create QR codes for basically anything you can think of. You just tap right here on create and what you can do here is create QR codes for context or maybe any like Wi-Fi networks that you want to share with someone, your home network, you tap right here and you just go ahead and enter the name of your network and the password. And anytime you want to give it to someone, you just show them the QR code. You don't have to tell them the passcode to your network and you can create like QR codes for a phone number, a URL, or maybe any of your social media right here. You want to create it for a URL, pretty simple. Just go ahead and paste the URL here and you're good to go. Tap on create and here you have the QR code created. You can even customize the QR code, change the colors and all that stuff. Now, once you're done, of course, you can share it or you can save it to the camera roll of your device and you will have that QR code anytime you need. Now, even the scan 
has some really great features. You can scan the QR codes right here. You can scan QR codes from pictures as well that you have saved on your iPhone. And you will even have the history right here. So you can take a look at all the previous QR codes that you have scanned with this app. Moving on to text splitter. Now this one is actually very interesting. How many times you had to share a text on your social media, maybe like Twitter or something like that. But of course they won't allow you to do just like share a huge text. You will have to separate it into different sections. Well, this app will do that automatically for you. You just go ahead and paste right here the text that you have. Go ahead and tap on split right there and you choose how many letters you want to have per section. So let's say 222 here. You can see it will create right here the sections which I can of course then go ahead and share. It also creates here the numbers of pages. So one out of five, two out of five. And of course you can enable or disable these from there. And then you have the share button right there where it allows you to copy that section or just go ahead and share it directly from here. The next app for the video is called Cam Hero. It basically allows you to scan documents. But of course, as always, there are a lot of apps that do this, but this one is very, very good. And it has, of course, some great features that you must have. So you go ahead and scan a document or even load a picture from the camera roll of your device and you tap that little dot right there. Now here's a document. What you can do here is add more. You can export it, adjust it, or even add filters to that document to make it look better. Or what you can do is tap on OCR right here. It will actually find extract all the text that's on that document. You can go ahead and speak that text from here. So you want to listen to that. You don't want to read it. You do it from here or tap on clone. and It will copy the complete text of that document. PDF it all is up next. Now basically let's turn any other document into a PDF file. Now of course most people now when sending emails, sending documents, anywhere basically PDF is required. So you can have all kinds of different documents and you can turn them into a PDF file with this app from a website to a Word document, maybe a note or a photo or an Excel document. It's very simple to use. You tap right there, you go ahead and choose the file. You tap here and you will have your other apps or you have your files and your iCloud. You tap right there and choose the file that you want to actually convert into a PDF. Once you have done that, you can see it is successful now. And what you can do here is edit the PDF. Of course, you can edit the name of the PDF right there, or you can just tap right here on share PDF if you want to send it basically on any of your apps, or you can even email it directly from here. Next we have Laundry Lens. Now this is the kind of app that I really like. Now I have shared this app before but I decided to put it on this video because I really like the app. I really like these kind of apps that are really really unique. Now how many times you have seen on your clothes there is like a ticket that has like different symbols and you don't know the meaning of those symbols. All you gotta do is just point the camera with this app of course point the camera to that ticket and it will show you everything you need to know how to iron and of course how to wash those closes. Now if you go right here to search you can then search for a symbol. So you will see one of these symbols of course a lot of them actually on your closes. You don't know what they mean. You can just go ahead and tap on one of them or maybe a few of them right here and it will show you actually what these mean. So once you have done that you will be able to see the meaning of these symbols. So it shows them right here and you can tap on see instructions and lets you know basically what you can and what you cannot do to those closes. Group C is the next app for the video. Now this one allows you to organize your contacts into groups and easily manage any one of those groups. So you can see the app right here, tap on new group and you can create quickly a new group right there, add a color, you can add like a different icon there and then just tap add to add contacts from the contacts list of your iPhone to that group straight onto the app. Now the way it works is that it allows you to basically message all the people that are on a group at the same time. So if you have different groups, like you can have your friends, your family, any group you want. And then if you just want to message all of those people at the same time, you don't need to go to iMessage and add them one by one. You tap like this here. And what I can do is just tap on send message and you can go ahead and send an email or an SMS. And just like that, 
you will have the message ready to go. You have all the people right there. You can just go ahead, type the message and set that basically to all of these with one click. Next up is Combo Widget. Now this is a widget app, but I really like this one because of this widget right here. It has a lot to offer. Even though the app has a lot more widgets, like this one right here for the battery, or this one that shows you your steps, the distance you have walked, and of course, the floors that you have climbed. But this one right here, just take a look at the amount of information that you will get with only one widget on your home screen. You basically don't need to have any other widget on your home screen. So you will have the battery, the current day and time, and you will have the calendar as well. Right here will have a reminder, then you have your steps, the distance, you can set a note here, and then you will even have right here the contacts, your favorite contacts, which you can call directly from here. Simply by tapping on one of them, you can go ahead and call that number. Really cool and of course very very useful. Now you can customize this by going into the app and go to combo box widget. You can add your contacts, you can add the notepad right there, a countdown. You can basically add anything you want here and customize them any way you like. And this is a very very useful widget to have on the home screen of your device. And last but not least is a web browser. Now the reason I put this on this list is this right here. Basically, you're downloading this app and using it for a good cause. So you can plant trees while browsing the web with Ecosia. Now, Ecosia is a web browser. It's also a search engine which you can use on Safari by going to the settings of Safari. And basically, they use like the profit from the searches to plant trees. So that's really, really great. And the app itself is actually quite good. When you go into the app, this is what you will see right here. You can go ahead and turn it as your default directly from here. You can search the web from there. You will have your bookmarks here your history, your reading list, and your downloads as well. And of course, it works quite good. You will have your tabs here. You can add new tabs, of course. You can go to this very nice tab view. You can close them all right here with one button. And you can also, of course, add a private tab. And you can search your tabs right there, which is really, really good and very convenient. So it's basically similar to other web-like browsers that you will see, but this one is of course for a good cause and I suggest everyone use it as much as possible. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some of the best apps that I believe will add extra new features and add more value to your iPhone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like and subscribe for more if you did. And I will see you guys on the next one.